Howdy YouTube, Essex here with a video. I know it's been a while, but I figured there's been a few updates to the EC Archer project, and it was about time to wrap those updates, changes up in a video format so you'll know what's going on. Uh, EC Archer is my Arch Linux based respin project available in five desktops Cinnamon. KDE Plasma, LXQT, Mate, and XFCE. We'll be taking a look at the XFCE desktop variant in the video here because XFCE released a once in every two to three year release. Their new desktop is version 4.20, up from 4.18. So we'll take a look at that. The February release of Easy Archer also includes the new LTS kernel, 6.12.12. .12. So the ISOs were uploaded, I believe, on the 7th of February, 2025. I produced them on the 2nd, no, not the 2nd, on the 5th, I believe, and tested them for a few days in VirtualBox. Another big change is that now the scripted install feature works as advertised. I never tested it before, so I never knew it didn't work. I never got any feedback from people that it didn't work. But after looking at the instructions of how to properly set up Calamari's to do an encrypted install, I realized I had never set a couple files correctly. Therefore, it probably never worked. It would have uh, served me and everyone else if I had bothered to test it even once. After having tested it, setting it up properly, the encrypted install works. So we'll take a look at doing an encrypted install on a UEFI virtual machine and see how it goes. So let's go over to that screen here and we can see the Easy Archer XFCE desktop edition is loaded. XFCE with version 4.20 has included experimental Wayland support. It doesn't work very well, but they're well aware of that. We will be using standard X11 session. The password, as always, is the word live for the live session. And it should boot up, uh, load up here in a few seconds. And we'll have a look at the new desktop. Just for uh, your confirmation, go to About XFCE, and it is version 4.20, running on the 6.12.12-1 LTS kernel under the X11 windowing system. So let's go ahead and start the installer. It is under System menu, under Install System. The user password is needed, so Live. And it should start up Calamari's any second now. There we go. So US English is fine. America Phoenix is fine. English US default is fine. And you know what? We are in a UEFI setting. We have a virtual hard drive. Let's go ahead and do a manual partitioning just to make it more interesting. We will create a new partition table, GUID partition table or GPT. And we have space. Let's set up our partitions. What will be the EFI partition? We'll make one gigabyte at 32. Mount point EFI. Label EFI bootable. Let's set up our um, root partition. So we'll go with 25 gigs EXT4. Let's go ahead and encrypt it and pick a password for the encryption. Keep it simple for me to remember. 
root, label root, and we might as well tick off the root flag. Let's go ahead and create some swap space here. Let's do uh, two gigs of swap. I'm not going to bother to encrypt swap space. And let's set up a final partition for home. Remainder of the space, encrypt. Mount point will be home. Label will be home. Okay, so we have a Lux partition for the root, a Lux partition for home, swap is unencrypted, and the ESP partition is unencrypted. Next, pick a username here, pick a password, and let's start the install. Cool. While this is running, let's go on back to the internet and show you around the Easy Archer project on SourceForge. I do have new screenshots up here. The screenshots are of the LXQT desktop, so I'll have a look at those. Did I close it? I meant to click Next. Here's the LXQT desktop. Lightly themed, different icon set. The themes and the icon set are available on the ISO. This is not the default look of XQT, but it can be made to be that way. You can see the kernel running, number of packages, window manager, themes, the memory used so on and so forth. Palomares is at version 3.13. That is the latest release of Calamares as of the release of the Archer ISOs. And all the ISOs are up. Yeah, I uploaded them about a week ago. If we go over to Files, we can see the ISO folder and the project files folder. Let's take a quick peek. I see people are discovering the ISOs. We have some download stats already. That's good. The project files are also subfolded for them. You can download the templates to build your own ISOs. These configs saying configs, my scripts, my package builds, five packages I include in Easy Archer that are not in the Arch repos, Calamari, of course, Ryzen is a AR helper, downgrade is to help downgrade packages, and then I think two packages, MK init open swap and CKB comp, uh, two small programs or packages by Calamari's keyboard settings and uh, unencrypting uh, swap partitions, which incidentally we won't be using in this installation. So there you go. We also have my project up on archive.org. If you look for my username or the project, see the last two releases of Easy Archer, as well as my Esnix OS Debian based project. And all the files are here. If you wanted the previous release, the 2025 01 release was the last release to include the older LTS kernel. I'm leaving that up for the time being, just in case problems arise with the current build. 
I haven't seen any, and I've been testing it on hardware behind me as well as in virtual machines. I haven't encountered one bug yet with the installation and updating of the software. Take a quick peek back here. We can see we're more than halfway through the installation. I guess we'll just stick with this now. This is the default theme for XFCE. I ship all of my ISOs with the default desktop themes, layouts, icons, whatever, backgrounds. You can make those choices when you install and customize your own system. My philosophy is I prefer to ship totally default settings and allow the user to pick what they want. Okay, we're all done. Let's go ahead and reboot this thing. Well, we can shut it down completely, that's fine. Because we will remove the ISO image and boot directly off the installed system. Now we should be prompted for our password since we did install an encrypted root and home partition. It's attempting to decrypt and here we are at the grub boot menu. So everything should work just fine. We'll take a look at the partition layout once we're in the live system. It takes a little longer to boot from an encrypted install, but not too bad. I assume on hardware it would be even quicker. The virtual machine settings include 4 gigs of RAM and um, yeah, 4 gigs of RAM and two cores. Let's switch over to the XFCE X11 session. Log into our desktop. And see what it looks like. Looks like it should. Let's take a quick peek here at LSBLK. Do that again. Okay, so we have the EFI system partition. We have the encrypted root, the encrypted home, and the unencrypted swap. Perfect. Everything looks to be working just the way it should. Now, if you don't like the default theme of XFCE or any desktop, you can simply go to Appearance Settings, change to Dark Dark, the icons to Papyrus Dark, back to Settings, Window Manager Tweaks, Dark Dark. Don't like the panel, you can add new items. Maybe we want the Oscar menu instead of standard menu. Go back here to panel preferences, items, move the whisker menu in its proper place, remove that, edit the properties for the whisker menu. And now we have a decently formatted whisker menu. Very easy to do. Change the background. Comes with all the standard XFCE backgrounds. If we switch over to backgrounds, we can see the Easy Archer 2 that I include. There you go, peeps. One thing I noticed with the current version of XFCE is they didn't include a volume control in the panel by default. Let's go to items, 
let's add oh, what is it called? It's called Pulse Audio Plugin. References that where I'm used to it being perfect. There you go, folks. As always, you get the full documentation, install guides and scripts if you want manual install, all the package builds for the packages included in the ISO, not in the Arch repos. Uh, my own little scripts, the build templates for all of the other desktops. In docs, there are a couple of things I wanted to point out. A text file that shows you how to set up auto cache cleaning. A text file that shows you how to install Vert Manager properly. Another text file that shows you how to set up a Grub update hook. Update your Grub to reinstall Grub when it updates, basically. How to set up Reflector Pac-Man hook. And a README, a general read how to install Firefox latest if you want to do that. It's already installed, but there's a leftover from a while ago. And getting started with the Arch ISO program, which is the program used to build Arch-based ISOs. That's it, folks. Hope you enjoyed this little tour and update of the Easy Archer project. Head on over to SourceForge Projects Easy Arch. Download it, play around with it, see what you like. Take care. Have fun, stay safe, and you'll see me in another one, folks. Bye-bye.